What's up Ozones, welcome to the Ozone, and welcome to another kind of FNAF news video. It's not that much to talk about, but it's very intriguing, so let's just get straight into it. So, basically, a voice actor has confirmed a role of a upcoming horror game by Scott Cawthon, and it's a really weird role. So let's read this, it says, My first voiceover job was for SD Lauder. I don't know how you say that name, so I'm sorry. Recently, I was the voice of the 2021 ACE Awards. I also played the therapist in a horror genre video game by Scott Cawthon, the creator of Five Nights at Freddy. Freddy. Yeah, this is... This is really weird. Um, this is by Penny Balfour, and we don't really know what horror game this is for. Uh, and I have a few kind of theories and a few opinions about this. So the first and very obvious choice you could go for is Security Breach. Security Breach coming out literally in a month as we speak. I believe it's 31 days now, if I'm doing my math correctly. But um, it could be Security Breach. It could very well be Security Breach. Uh, and that leads you to think, where is a therapist going to come into all of this? And I don't know. It could be for many different things. One thing that I've been thinking is maybe it's for Vanessa. Maybe Vanessa, maybe Vanessa is going through something um, which is making... Maybe, maybe she's going to the therapist to talk about her kind of glitch-trap brain uh, and then maybe she kills the therapist or something, <laughs> but um, I don't know, I don't know. It could be a sort of multiple personality disorder thing, um, but disorders like that aren't exactly portrayed well in media, and I think it would be a huge risk for Five Nights at Freddy's, literally a horror game, to try and portray that sort of thing in its game. So I don't think it's that I don't think it's anything to do with that. But it very well could be Vanessa talking to a therapist about something, and that something could be Glitchtrap in her head. So that's all very interesting. Um, but another person could be Gregory. Um, and the reason I say this, and I don't want to say it, is because something is on the back of my mind this entire time, and that is the dream bots. I just call them the dream bots. Huh. The dream bots, I'm, I mean the staff bots, in, at the end of the Security Breach trailer. And they have uh, In Your Dreams written on their, on their chests. And it's really strange that they have that written on, and it's really strange that they look like Night Marions. Uh, we've talked about this in a separate video. But it's, it could, and, and I, I don't want to throw this idea out there and say it's going to be dream theory. But what if it is? Or at least what if some of what we see in the trailer is in Gregory's head? What if Gregory is going to a therapist because he is seeing these things in his nightmares? And what if Security Breach is more of a, I guess, more of a nightmare? I, I don't I don't want that to be true. I don't want it to be all a dream. Uh, I don't want some of it to be a dream and some of it to be real. I, I do want all of it to be real, but we need to take every kind of theory into account here. And so there you go. That's that's kind of what I think for Security Breach, at least. Um, I don't know if there's any other way a therapist can come in, maybe a therapist at the mall, that wouldn't make much sense though. But another thing that I think makes this entire thing weirder is that this could connect to the Lady Fizzy drawings that we've talked about recently. So if you didn't know, um, I, I made a video on this um, uh, oh, uh, a few days ago, um, Lady Fizzy is, has given us some more drawings. Uh, and they are very intriguing because it doesn't seem like they're connected to Security Breach. It seems like they might be for another game or another book or an animated series or something. But if this is for a game, then it's possible that the therapist could come in here. Because this seems... <sighs> I don't know what to think of it. It seems like it's some sort of kind of crime game or a backstory to the Afton family. And one thing that I didn't point out last time, which I probably should have, is that the boy does kind of come across as the crying child, but who else does the boy come across as? Gregory. So what if this is either part of Security Breach, um, as sort of like, I guess an animated cutscene or something? Um, what if that is part of Security Breach? Or what if it's like a Security Breach kind of a separate game or a separate title 
that is related to Security Breach and tells us about the past of Gregory. Now you may be wondering, why would they show us the past of Gregory? What if Gregory is related to Vanessa? Which I think is very likely. I don't see why else Gregory would be at the pizza plex really. That doesn't make much sense to me. And Vanessa says some very weird lines that kind of imply that Gregory and Vanny share a home. I believe she has the line of like, let's, let's get you to bed, Gregory, or something. Uh, you need to go home. I don't know. I, I, you, you know what I'm talking about. But of course, we do think that this is security breachy. I mean, we see the clock with the moon on it. Um, and I think people pointed out as well that that is kind of like a direct opposite to the Afton house in security, Bre uh, security breach sister location with the sun clock. I think that's a very cool detail. Um, but I don't know, this could be a very, very cool thing and where the therapist would come into this, I don't know. So that's really all I've got for today. Um, what do you guys think about a therapist in Five Nights at Freddy's? It's, it's kind of a weird, weird combo, right? You wouldn't expect that. Is it for Security Breach? Is it for an upcoming game? People have been saying that the art is for Into Madness. It could be. It could be, but I'm I'm not too sure about that because Into Madness, the last update we got was like three years ago or something. Um, so not too sure if that 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 idea is still existing. But it's a, it's a thought. It's a, it's definitely a thought. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you tell me what you think in the comments below, and I will see you in another video. Goodbye.